Hello YouTube, I am R and Peter and today we are going to be finishing our calculator. So the calculator portion is finished. All we need to do is take this five bit output of the calculator and go ahead and feed it over to our segment segment display, which is somewhere over there. And the process for doing so is first off we need to have a decoder along with these decimal to seven segment converters and then we will send the signal from that over to our seven segment display. And remember the decoder for our five bit sig five bit that number will be twice as large as this decoder. Because with every new digit you it becomes twice as large. It is right around 1 p.m. right now, and I'm planning on not leaving this room until this project is completed. So, um, it should be a good day. That is what I'll be doing, and um, I guess I'll talk to you guys more about it soon. Alrighty, the decoder is finished. It has been four hours. Good thing there's audiobooks and podcasts, but yeah, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, here it is. This is the decoder in all of its glory. The other one seems small now by comparison. So here are the five bits of input. Let's see, so this is this is the most significant bit, this is the least significant bit. So that's this one's worth this is the ones bit, which is off, two's bit, that's on, so it's two. Uh let's see, four's bit is off, eight's bit is on, so it's two plus eight, and then this bit. The 16 bit is off. So 2 plus 8, 10 should be the answer. If you look over here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is the one that's activated. And then when it's run through this mess, which was a heck of a lot worse than the other one because this actually spans um, multiple tens. And when it comes out of that, we get ones in the tens place and we get, and we get a zero in the one's place. So, awesome. Okay, let's see. Um, let's play with this a little bit. Let's say we want the one's place to be on, this one to be off, this one on, on, off, on. So this would be 16 plus 8 plus 1, so it should be 25. So 0, 1, 2, I did do, no, I didn't do my math correct. I did not do my math correct. 16 position plus 4 for the 4th um, position and then 1, so that's 21. Okay. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Oh, right. That one should be on. This one should not be on. Let's see. Notice this should exactly match the way the binary input was. So that's 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is 1, 0, 1, 0. One. Okay, that's good. And from below it should be just the opposite. Zero. One. This one should have a torch there, I think. Alright, so I'm looking at this wrong. That one is twenty one, that one's twenty three. Twenty three should be one 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 zero one. So that's sixteen plus four plus two plus one is twenty three. Yeah, that's right. So it should be one. One. I'm missing something here. One. Good. Zero. One. All right. And as it turns out, I completely missed this like row right here. So I'll fill those in real quick, and that should fix things up. All right. Now that this twos bit is taken care of, this should read twenty-one. As it should. See, it's only one now. That's twenty-one. Perfect. Now, all next step is to make the binary two decimal. Sorry, decimal to seven segment. All right, a little less than two hours later, and two more um, decimal to, to seven segment display converters are done. Now all that's left is to take these wires down here and wire them over to the final display over there somewhere. Hello everyone, check this out. Three plus ten. Thirteen. It works. I have a calculator. Um, yeah. 
after these five days of hard work, this Minecraft circuit can calculate four. It can do four bit binary addition. Let's see if we can get a better look real quick. See if my computer can handle some increased rendering for a second. Alright, let's look at this as it all comes out for us. And there it is. The final product, the calculator, is finished. This is everything that was built. I didn't end up covering up that last decoder. I'm not sure if I will. But, yeah. That's that. Let's play with the sun. Okay, so let's try 5 plus 13. So that's 1, 2, x 5. 5 plus 13 is... All right, let's have a look then. Oh well, this is the fun part, right? Fixing up everything. Did my hard drive indeed get 5 and 13? That is 5. That is uh, 8 plus 4 plus 1 is 13, yeah. Did it add up correctly in the calculator? That is, what, 8? No, that's 2, because I'm looking at it backwards. All right. Oh, here is the signal that's not making way through. That is 16 and 2 make 18. Okay, so that's, that's correct. 5 plus 13 is 18. 5 plus 13 is 18. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try 6 plus 14. And let's see if we get there. 14 makes 20. Uh, no! I think this one's an error in one of my binary two um, decimal converters. Not binary decimal, decimal to seven segment. Yes, so you see that line right there? That should not be there. You should be there. I want to get at least one successful run before I end the video. Alright, so that's 20 now. Um, let's see, that's 16 plus 7. Let's try 16 plus 7. Oh, wait, that's right. I can only count 15 with these things. Okay. Alright, 7 plus 2 makes 9. Yes, it does make 9. Alright, let's try another one. Oh, 5 plus 8 is 13. 14. Hmm. Oh, I should have ended on the last one. Now that's 8. And 13. Make. 21. Right, that one's 8. That one's 13. Now you are 20. One, yes. All right, I'm going to call it the finale. All right, thank you guys so much for watching through my Minecraft creation. Um, there will, of course, be a link in the description to this world if you want to get better, more detail. Hope you learned a lot from this. And I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos. See you next time.